And remember, folks, it can happen from the north, it can happen from the south, it can happen from the east, or come from the west. Always be prepared, and if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, or I'll be out there waiting for you to come to me. Admiral Preparedness, God bless you all. Well, folks, the day came, the day went, the teeth were extracted. Now I have to learn how to eat food while I'm waiting for the dentures to arrive at the dental office. And the healing process has to be all completed before we'll be able to put those dentures in. So follow along, if you will. Here's something we got to get for our ability to not have to chew. Instant cream or wheat, maple brown sugar included. Uh, we're going to get some apple cinnamon instant oatmeal and some... Uh, Good old country cottage cheese. How about that? Breakfast would consist of two soft-boiled eggs, a muffin, freshly baked, of course, and the cream of wheat you saw previously with the brown sugar already added. And I have to tell you, folks, that combination right there with a glass of orange juice and a little sip of some milk was perfect for each day while I waited for the healing to continue. I found that the Sam's Club pre-cooked Angus hamburger beef patties were perfectly suitable because they would just break right up. After you put them in a the microwave from a frozen state, they were perfectly the right texture and the right consistency so I could just roll them around inside my uh, pie hole and was able to enjoy them with every kind of condiment you can think of that you didn't have to have chewed up. Another lunch menu item was the Hormel tamales with beef. Perfect, perfect, perfect for a lunch without having to chew. Put them in the microwave, that heats them up, that tenderizes them. Perfect, perfect example of something you can eat without having any teeth. And by, and, and, and of course, folks, uh, it's, it tastes good. And, of course, to complement any meal would be the blender, putting vegetables inside the blender and make it a nice puree. You could eat it uh, like a drink or you could have it like a smoothie, but the flavors are all there, folks. I use corn as the main ingredient and then a mixed vegetable medley to go with it. Put it in the grinder, ground it right up, and that went as a secondary source of protein. <laughs> And while looking in my stores, I found these chicken cacciatore meals, pre prepared, ready to go, just eat them up. They're already small enough in pieces, that way you don't have to chew them up. And perfect for the same situation that I'm in. So now I have a very selection of meals that I can always have, depending on what I got. I also uh, use the um, Ensure beverages to make sure they don't have any vitamin deficiencies while I'm doing this test. And another accessory was some other items that I don't really remember what this was, but it was also excellent choice. Uh, it didn't take too long to prepare. It went right into the microwave and right into my gullet. Another example. And this one didn't do too well because of the larger sizes. So I had to kind of chop it up just a little bit more to make it uh, usable. Uh, I actually made uh, two meals out of it, so I put what I didn't need or and use it the next day. All right, folks. And remember, folks, it can happen from the north, it can happen from the south, it can happen from the east, or come from the west. Always be prepared. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, or I'll be out there waiting for you to come to me. Admiral Preparedness, God bless you all.